Welcome to the second day of our annual community conference, Prisma Day. We've been organizing developer conferences for half a decade, and this year's Prisma Day is the largest by far. Yesterday, we had a full day of workshops organized by a dedicated community, spanning the gamut from introductory sessions to deep dives on frameworks like Next and Redwood. We had a jam-packed day with 19 sessions in 11 different languages. Just incredible. Since we last met at Prisma Day 2020, we have been hard at work improving the Prisma ORM. We have implemented hundreds of highly requested features, including the ability to order results by relations and a much more powerful aggregations API. We've talked to literally thousands of you on Twitter, on GitHub, and in the Prisma Slack community. And your feedback and consistent desire to push Prisma forward what is what has enabled us to make Prisma the fastest growing RM in the Node ecosystem. Every four months, the number of developers building apps with Prisma doubles. And every month, 2,000 developers start a project on GitHub. Prisma is an open source library, so many developers adopt it at work without ever talking to a Prisma employee. And that's great. This year, we've made it our focus to engage with developers using Prisma at SMBs and enterprise companies to make sure that Prisma works, not just for hobby projects, but for large-scale production workloads as well. Many of the latest features and improvements are a direct result of this effort. And as we are talking to developers at enterprises, we are also learning more about their unique situation and use cases. You will hear from a couple of companies at the event today and we look forward to sharing many more case studies on the Prisma blog in the future. Prisma Day is a celebration of all of the people who make the Prisma community what it is, but it is also a time for us to tell you more about what we have planned for the rest of 2021 and beyond. Hervé will go into much more detail in his session later today, but I want to share just a few things with you already. First, it is important to say that the Prisma ORM is at the heart of everything we do. We have invested heavily into adding highly requested features over the past year, and we are going to continue to accelerate this investment. We believe that the Prisma ORM has a 10 times better developer experience than any other ORM in the Node ecosystem. And we want to make sure that we also have the most feature-rich ORM uh, in the Node ecosystem. Many of you have talked to us about the challenge of using a relational database for applications deployed to serverless environments. Whether you deploy your backend to Vassel or Netlify or use one of the function as a service options from the big cloud providers, the challenge is the same. Mature databases such as Postgres and MySQL all make use of a stateful connection between application and database. This is great for maximizing throughput between two beefy servers but it is a poor fit for the ephemeral nature of serverless environments. Modern databases such as DynamoDB solve this challenge by moving, this, by moving to a stateless connection model. Unfortunately, they also come with a radical new data modeling and querying paradigm, essentially asking developers to give up on a decade of accumulated knowledge just to get a connection model better suited to a modern cloud infrastructure. Later this year, we are launching the Prisma application data platform, which will include the ability to add a stateless connection to your existing relational database. This will work with any of the databases supported by Prisma and allow you to connect to your database from serverless environments with improved performance and scalability. And with that, I want to welcome you to Prisma Day, and I hope you have a, a wonderful day.